Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use filter and filter view in Google Sheets. Friends, filter and filter view are quite useful while you are working in the Google Sheet. So let me explain you first filter. Using the filter, we can see our relevant data, whatever we want to see, other data will be filtered out. And to put the filter on your data, like here we have this data. We can click anywhere and to apply the filter on your data, there are three ways. The first, just click anywhere on the data and go to these ellipses and click on this create a filter button. So here you can see the filter is applied and you can just click again to remove the filter. The second option is you can go to the data tab and just click on create a filter. So that same filter is applied. Again, you can go to the data and say remove filter. The third option is you can use the shortcut key as Alt D F and that filter is applied. Again, you can press Alt D F to remove the filter. All right. Now let's press Alt D F and filter is applied. Now I will show you how the filter will work. So we can see this icon that is the filter icon on every column in our data. So let's click on this icon and here we can see few options like sort A to G, sort Z to A, then here we have the sort by color, then filter by color and here we have the filter by condition, then filter by values. Okay, and we have the option here select all and clear. So let's say I want to filter only a small business. So what I can do first, I will clear all, then I will scroll it down and I can click on a small business. If you have long list here and, and you are not able to see the filter value which you want to filter like a small business, then you can search from here also. As you type, you will get that. So let's click here and click on OK. So you can see our data is filtered by a small business only. Okay, and to remove that, you can just click again. You can just select all and click on OK. So that filter is removed. Now it is showing the all values. All right. To apply the filter on a number, like here we have the unit sold and we want to filter all the units wherein unit sold value is greater than 2000. Then what we can do, just click here and we can go filter by condition and here we can select greater than or greater than or equal to okay so let's select greater than or equal to and i'm putting here 2000 now we can click on okay so you can see the unit sold values are greater than 2000 all right so we have applied this filter also and you can just remove this filter going to the condition and select here none Okay, so that is removed. All right, friends. Now quickly I'll show you how you can use the filter in date. So here we have the date column. Just click here. We can see all dates here. Let's say I want to go by the filter condition. So here we can go to the date conditions like date is, date is before, date is after. So let's say I'm selecting date is before. And then you can select few values like today, tomorrow, yesterday, in past week, in past month, past year. Okay, so whatever you want to select here. Let's say I'm selecting here in past year or you can select the exact date also. So let's select here in past year and then just click on OK. So here you can see all the dates are coming for 2022 2023 so it is not for 2024 which is current year all right and again you can select here none okay so the filter is removed now to apply the filter by color we have few rows highlighted in yellow you can see here then you can see here so now quickly to filter it by color we can again go to the filter on any column and then go to the filter by color and go to the fill color and light yellow 3 this one click on ok so we can see all data is appearing here which is highlighted in yellow all right 
now we can filter it out so just click here none so this was the filter function now if you want to create the filter view filter view is created not affect our original data so let me show you if i will put the filter or if i will short this a to g or z to a it will be applicable in the main sheet and everybody who have the access of this will be able to see those changes now to get the rid of this problem we can create the filter view we can go to the data and then we can go to the filter view and here we can create a new filter view just click here as we click on new filter view you can see the color of the headers of the columns and the rows is changed in the black okay now here we can provide the filter view so let's say i'm putting here canada country okay just hit the enter and we are applying the filter on the canada so clear this select the canada and okay and if you want to sort this data let's say i want to sort z to a for the unit sold i can click on this cross button to come out from this view and if quickly i want to see that view i can go to the data filter view and i can see that filter name here canada country and just click here automatically that view appear and this is in sorted order also if i will close this then data is not in sorted order you can see filter view will save your data separately for that particular user and quickly you can filter your data whatever you want so let us create one more filter view first we will apply the filter then we will create the filter view so let's say i am selecting here high discount this one and where sale price is greater than 300 so let's go to the condition and take here greater than i put here 300 okay click on okay so we have applied two filter high discount sale is greater than 200 now we will apply a sort function that is sales should be in descending order so jack to a okay so we have applied this filter now we will convert this into a filter view now because we have already applied the filter this time to create the filter view we will go to the data filter view and save as filter view and we will put the name here high discount with sale price more than 300 so you can put the name whatever you want okay and just close this now if we remove this filter and this one also or even we just remove all filter from here then we will go to the data and filter view and we will click here high discount with sale price more than 300 immediately that view will appear so that is quite useful while you are working with the long data you can create the multiple filter view and this will not impact to the other users data also because it is not making the changes in the original data all right friends so friends that is how we can use the filter and filter view in the google sheet friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching